What's up guys, this is Danny Rocksteady. Thanks for checking out another episode. Today we're gonna to be installing this Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing on my Harley Davidson Sportster. So stick around, I'll see you guys after the intro. All right guys, so quick video for you guys. We will be working on installing this new Road Warrior fairing that I received from Memphis Shades. Here are the main parts of the fairing here. This is the fairing itself. This is the Road Warrior design. As you can see it has kind of this bump right here. And then this is the windshield. This is a, I believe this, I ordered the 15 inch shield. So you can see here, it's smoked. The hardware kit. Again, this is a Memphis Shades. Huge shout out to these guys over here. So one of the first things you're gonna have to do is the headlight right here is actually going to be relocated slightly. There's a bracket. This bracket here is basically going to push this headlight housing out just a little bit so that it presses, it goes into the recess over here so it's not too sunken back in there. So let's go ahead and install this part first. To do that, we're going to remove this cap here. We're just going to use a small screwdriver, pop this open, just carefully pop it open. That way you're not scratching anything and set this aside. Go 19. Oh, it's definitely a high quality mount. One of the things to note about Memphis Shades as a company is they are based out of Memphis, Tennessee, and all of their products are actually built here in the US. So the things like the windshield and the fairing, these are not imported overseas, from overseas, like a lot of the ones that you see on Amazon. So that was definitely a plus in my book. So use the new piece of hardware. There you go, like that. So I'm just hand tightening everything. I'm not tightening everything all the way down just yet so that if I have to make adjustments, I can easily move it without having to loosen everything again. So when you're working with the fairing, I highly recommend having something soft under it. That way when you have it face down, you're not scratching anything. And then you'll just fit this grommet in here. And so one of the cool features of this fairing is this piece right here. So let's see if I can figure it out. So see how it slides forward? Slide it and unlock it. So it's like a quick detach for the fairing once this is all installed. So there you go, you see all the four grommets. So I'm, I am gonna refer to the instructions to figure out which orientations these are supposed to face. So according to the instructions, the bracket is gonna be inwards like this. And then clip is up. So make sure this is the way you're installing yours. 
One thing to note with these is you can see there is a flat edge. And that'll line up with the grooves so that way they don't rotate out of the way. As you can see, it's only one way to slide in. Same thing with this, I'm going to just kind of hand tighten it before I completely cinch everything down once I know everything fits. Alright, so as you can see there's still a little bit of play to go up and down, so I'm not completely tightening it until we know exactly where we're going to have it. Next we're going to install these, which are the hangers that hold it to your actual forks. So this black part here is where these clip connects will actually hook onto. So you can see here, and then right here. So let's put them about two inches apart from each other, it should be more or less. So what I'm doing is loosening the Allen in here. It looks like it allows the this pushing in the middle to kind of open up a little and accept the the hook. See that? How it opens up. And adjust it afterwards. Not too shabby so far, that's what it looks like. Here's how it looks in the daylight. As you can see, the headlight sits nice and flush with the front of the fairing. With my 10 inch mini apes, the turn signals were partially covered, so instead of completely deleting them, I relocated them to the forks. I used simple 39mm fork mounts that I found online. And as you can see, the fairing mounts don't take up too much room on the upper forks. The slight angle at the bottom of the Road Warrior fairing left a nice little spot to fit the turn signals. And I simply have the wiring run down and along the lower triple tree and across the mount. Now I'm sure some of you are wondering about the view and the performance with the fairing installed. So I'm going to take you on a quick ride with me to end the video. With my GoPro at the widest camera angle, you can see very little of your peripheral view is obstructed. I added some light smoke tint to the windshield after the installation. So from the factory, your windshield won't be as dark as what you're seeing here. As you can see, there's basically no distortion to what you're seeing through Memphis Shades' Lucite Acrylic. This fairing and windshield combination has virtually eliminated any wind hitting my torso and head. Again, this is the 15 inch windshield. You need to factor in your height and your riding position when selecting your length. I'm 5'8", and this length is just tall enough to send the air up and over my helmet, so I'm not feeling any buffeting or wind turbulence. Styling-wise, I think it looks great. Here are a couple photos I took to give you an idea of what it looks like on a Sportster. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the Road Warrior and how it looks on the bike in the comments below. 
If you guys want to stay up to date on the upgrades I'm doing to my 2015 Harley Davidson Sportster, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. This is Danny Rock City checking out. Ride safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.